Hi, I'm Sarah Weldon, uh, director of photography and director uh, who calls Portland, Oregon home. My career has been kind of a culmination of many, many breakthroughs, um, hopefully with many more to come. Um, I'd say so far, the biggest breakthrough for me was coming out and transitioning. Um, I think with truth being sort of the lifeblood of any story, it was really uh, powerful for me to kind of go through that own journey of finding my truth. Um, it's created stronger connections between me and the directors I'm working with, uh, between me and the actors I'm working with, and I think I've seen that come together. Um, I did a music video a few years back um, that was sort of based on my own journey of uh, finding myself. And that would not have been possible um, without going through that process, finding my own truth. Um, I worked really closely with my co-director, a dear friend and close collaborator, Robin Beda, um, our actress, Carly Guevara. And I don't think I would have been able to have the conversations necessary to tell that story if I hadn't done that work myself. It's a lifelong process, but um, I think it's something that's really uh, pushed me forward in a big way. And I'm excited to see what's next. Though I work primarily as a director of photography, I do consider myself a storyteller. Um, and when I'm having conversations with the director, it's all about why are we telling this story the way we're telling it? And that's part of bringing this director's vision to life is understanding what they want to be doing. Um, in 2019, one of the features I shot uh, called Lose, directed by John Garcia, who I've collaborated with for many years, um, was sort of the perfect storm of what I love about filmmaking. Uh, the two of us spent month after month in pre-production, meticulously planning out a shot list and coming up with sort of a rule book to follow so that when we get on set and some things might change in different ways based on the actors or this or that, um, we kind of knew how to pivot. And when we got into this uh, formerly active prison cell to shoot roughly a third of the movie, um, we realized we had to pivot a little bit uh, to utilize that space. So it became sort of a dance between me and the two lead actors as we moved about this space. And John kept telling me, Sarah, I wanna make sure every single shot we do, whether it's on your shoulder or on a tripod or on a dolly or wherever, you are telling the story in a way that I could use just this one shot and we could tell the whole scene with it. Um, as a result, there was a lot of moving about the space, the 180 changing, but we had this set of rules um, that we were able to keep in mind as we moved through the narrative. Um, as they're released from prison, the whole world opens up and it's this uh, sort of beautiful, vibrant color space. Uh, there's a little bit more contrast between not only light and dark, but also the colors we're using um, and the whole world sort of changes for, for not only for these two characters, but also for the camera. Um, to me, I think the collaboration that came to bring that together between not, not only John and I, but I think also the actors was uh, everything I love about filmmaking. I recently finally got around to watching Robert Eggers' The Lighthouse um, and the choices that he and Jaron Blaschke made um, around how to shoot this were extremely bold, but all really enhanced the story. Um, obviously it's black and white. The aspect ratio is almost square. Um, and they shot it on these old Baltar lenses, uh, which I think all like led to this beautiful look that made you kind of feel like you're in the 1890s. Um, but more so, I it was the kind of film that I wished I was working on. Um, I think, I, I just the way the camera felt like it was always right there with the actors. Um, it felt like the char the camera was that third character, right? Um, and it was also shot in this way that just felt so claustrophobic and just made you want off of this island. Um, and I it just I knew nothing going into this movie, 
which is just the way I always like it. And I was pleasantly surprised uh, by the way it unfolded. I am where I am today because of immense privileges. As a white trans person, I have a very complicated relationship with those privileges. I would never go back and give up living my truth for living in that lie, but it's undeniable that a lot of the privileges I had when I was presenting as a essentially white cis man uh, were instrumental in getting me to where I am today. Um, I think it's absolutely partly my responsibility to help create a better place for the kids and for the younger generation to come in and feel safe showing up on set as themselves, as who they are. Um, and I think I can do that through uh, advocacy for policy change. I can do that through my hiring uh, power as a DP and making sure I'm considering that in every choice I make and bringing people onto set. Um, but I think I can also do that just in taking up space, um, not only in the film industry, but in the world as a trans woman um, and sort of uh, creating relationships with people who may not have a relationship with another trans person um, and sort of humanizing that experience. I'm so excited about the year ahead. Um, I think this last year was really hard but uh, sort of the upside was as the usual pressures of capitalism were lifted, uh, so many brilliant writers had time to focus on their passion projects. Uh, and as a DP, that's uh, pretty exciting because it means that there's all these scripts out there in the universe uh, that hopefully I can attach myself to. Um, I've been lucky enough to work on one of those scripts. Just four days ago, as of recording this, we wrapped on a short film called Bury Your Fish, written and directed by Emma Josephson, a beautiful collaboration um, that I'm so excited about that should be hopefully hitting the festival circuit either later this year or maybe early next year. Um, I have a couple other projects on the horizon that are in the early talks uh, that I'm excited about. I'm excited to tell more queer stories. I'm excited to tell more stories about sort of the hidden struggles of the human experience um, and I am just so excited to keep growing as a filmmaker, as a DP and uh, see what's next.